Hello and welcome back to Game of Trades. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We make frequent videos on the stock market, on cryptocurrencies, and pretty much anything that we can profit from. And today's video is gonna be focusing on Bitcoin that has been going absolutely nowhere since February. We've been in a sideways period of consolidation. And yet if we take a look at the altcoin market cap, we're seeing altcoins absolutely take off. And we can take a look at that using this chart right here of the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin. And you can see it's rising despite Bitcoin being in a sideways period of consolidation. And we can also take a look at the Bitcoin dominance right here that's been selling off massively over the past few weeks. Now, all of these developments were 100% to be expected during a crypto bull market, right? If we zoom out, you'll see the previous bull market in cryptocurrencies that was from around 2016 to 2018. And you can see the Bitcoin dominance dropped a couple times throughout that period in a very intense manner, similar to what we're seeing now. And that's the moment where you start to see other coins really begin to take off during alt season. In fact, that's something that we were talking about months ago in, in December, I believe, in our article on Bitcoin opportunity of the decade that was posted here on December 12th, where we talked about an Ethereum investment setup. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this article, you'll see we talked about Ethereum being at a great place. You'll see we were talking about Ethereum being a great opportunity at around $550 right here. So our members on gameoftrades.net who followed this setup, and we know there's quite a few, have multiplied their initial investment by seven times. So that's an 800% gain. In fact, in that same article, we talked about altcoins breaking out just before the alt season started. And we talked about Cardano, which was sitting at 15 cents on December 12th, and it's now at $1.8. So that's more than a 10x on your initial investment. But now in this video, I'm gonna go through and make the case why all these developments and all that crazy speculation might be about to come to an end. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's begin by a quick technical analysis of what's happening on Bitcoin. We've recently hit the bottom of our price channel right here. This is the price channel that we're following. And I really strongly recommend that you should be watching this channel as well. It's very accurate. It's been such a great predictor of where the tops on Bitcoin are going to be and where the bottoms are going to be acting as support and resistance just all the way through ever since November. In fact, that's the channel that we use to identify a wonderful buying opportunity on Bitcoin right here. By the way, if you're interested in these kinds of updates, make sure to go and check out our website at gameoftrades.net. Now we also have this trend line right here that captures each low that we've had during this period of consolidation right now, including this one we just had right here. So just from a price action standpoint, we've hit major, major support, price channel support and this trend line support. So that's a nice confluence of support levels. And if we jump to a daily chart right here, you'll see we have a, a beautiful candle that you could call a doji candle right here with that very long tail, very long wick, and a very small body. And that's typically a nice reversal candle. So that's what we're seeing right now, a nice reversal on Bitcoin. So that's looking bullish. It's looking like Bitcoin just put in a significant bottom right here. Now, the next thing that we're taking a look at for Bitcoin is this ratio, the spent output profit ratio right here, which we already discussed in, I believe, the last YouTube video that we posted on Bitcoin. And this is probably one of the most useful indicators out there on Bitcoin to really predict significant bottoms on Bitcoin. When this ratio dips below one, you can see right here, the black line corresponds to the to the one ratio. When the spent output profit ratio dips below one, it systematically coincides with a big bottom on Bitcoin. Look at this one right here in February, this one right here in April, and the one we're seeing right now. And we can actually go back to the previous bull market 
in 2016, 2017. By the way, this only works during bull markets, and I'm going to explain why. But again, it works just beautifully. Ratio below one, significant bottom. Same thing right here, here again. Again, I strongly recommend you go to glassnode.com and you take a look at this ratio and you follow it to provide buying opportunities. Or you can just go and subscribe to our service on gameoftreats.net and we take a look at this ratio very frequently along with detailed technical analysis and just our overall vision. But the reason this works is because nobody wants to sell their Bitcoin at a loss during a bull market. During the four year cycle, the popular narrative is that the shrinking supply of Bitcoins pushes the price higher. And so we know that during a certain time period after the Bitcoin halving, it's very unlikely that we'll enter a big bear market on Bitcoin. So everyone wants to profit from Bitcoin. And so what this ratio tells you is that when it's below one, all of a sudden investors are no longer profitable. And so that's the precise moment where investors stop selling, they stop booking profits, and the supply of Bitcoin vanishes and you get a huge, huge pump of the price. So right now our bet is that we've had a significant bottom on Bitcoin. We've hit major support. We've had the spent output profit ratio go below one. And so that increases the odds of this being a big bottom. Now, could we see another leg up than a last shakeout on Bitcoin? Absolutely, right? And from the beginning of the bull market, ever since we entered back in September with our first article on the Bitcoin bull market, we said that crypto investors need to be prepared for a 35% pullback from the all-time high at all times. And that's not something we've had so far. We had it in the previous bull market in 2017. We had multiple pullback of 40, 35 to 40%, but that's not something that we've had right now in 2020. So if we get that type of pullback from the all-time high, a 40% pullback, that could take us down to 40K. Now, is that something that we're putting high odds on? No, but is it something that we're prepared for? Absolutely. So now let's discuss the altcoins because that's why you came to this video. By the way, make sure to drop a like on this video, especially if you're enjoying the way the content is being presented with clear convictions, clear indicators, and transparency because after all that is, our main goal to be as transparent and clear in our analysis and our convictions as possible. So hit that like button as hard as you can if you're enjoying these videos. So now to predict what's going to happen with altcoins, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, right? So this is the daily chart of the Bitcoin dominance. And believe it or not, this is going to give us a lot of information about where altcoins are going to be going in the next few weeks. And you can see we only have one channel on this chart right here. And it's pretty well defined. We've got a few reactions here. It helped us navigate through this period of the Bitcoin dominance. But believe it or not, this channel is so much more important than what it seems. And I'll show you what I mean. If I clone this trend line right here, and I extend it on both sides, you'll see all of a sudden we can put some kind of a mega channel of the Bitcoin dominance. And look at this, look at how beautiful these reactions are. One, two, three, right there. If we copy and paste that again, you'll see the number of reactions we got throughout this period here. Resistance, resistance, breakout, support, right there. And we can also put this channel at the very bottom. Perhaps that will give us an idea of where the Bitcoin dominance is going to bottom at the end of this cycle at around these levels at around 18%. But you can see in the last cycle, the drop of the Bitcoin dominance wasn't just a straight line down. We had periods of consolidation where the Bitcoin dominance rose in between those leg downs. And so I want to put one more trend line on here and put it right there where we've got quite a few reactions. Again, this trend line acted as support throughout this entire period, support here. And you can see where we currently are. We're currently at 41% of Bitcoin dominance and we're just above that trend line. So this is a very significant level in terms of the price channel. And it also coincides perfectly with this strong level of support right there. Look at this, 39%, that perfect tag. And so I love seeing this type of confluence of support because that gives me a precise target zone, 
right here for a reversal of the Bitcoin dominance, a high probability reversal zone. So of course, while there's no guarantee that we'll get a big rally in the Bitcoin dominance, seeing how aggressive the sell-off has been and how strong the support is, it seems at current levels, it's increasingly favorable to be buying Bitcoins instead of altcoins. And what does that mean for the altcoin market? We can take a look at how the altcoins behave throughout periods where the Bitcoin dominance rises. And so I'm gonna put vertical lines up on here throughout these periods where the Bitcoin dominance rose from the bottom of that move to the top of that move. And we're gonna compare that with, let's say, Ethereum to Bitcoin. The Ethereum to Bitcoin ratio, you can see between those lines, Ethereum dropped massively. Now we can also put the Cardano to Bitcoin ratio that also happens to have dropped massively throughout that period. And same thing for the Polkadot to Bitcoin that also took a significant hit throughout that period of time. So we'll be making updates on this if we actually see signs of a reversal of the Bitcoin dominance, because right now it's a very, very steep sell off, but it's definitely something that you should be watching out for, especially if you're heavily weighted in altcoins. Now, that's about all I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.